So okay. what it does is it actually says, okay, um, it, it works the other way around. So evolution is, is funny that way. You, you write some code, ah. and that code is actually going to be a really, really disastrous trader. Mm. But it's a trader. It will make decisions to buy and sell and short and so ah. forth. You write that code, and you let it trade. And you let it trade over some historical data. And it's going to be a disaster, but it's going to be probably less bad than some other code that you've also written. And remember, you're writing this code many, many times over on many, many CPUs. We're running on more than 1.5 million CPUs, running for months. You go through four or five trillion such pieces of code, and you are uh, very intelligently combining them, the better ones. And ultimately, you get the code that works quite well, consistently, and generalizes. Hey, everybody. Let me take a moment to tell you about PagerDuty. If you don't know what PagerDuty is, it's the thing that developers hate most in their lives. It's when they are at their kids' soccer game or recital. It's when they're at the movies. It's when they're at the gym. They're running a half marathon, and the pager goes off, and something's wrong with the servers. Now, there is a solution for this. Uh, one, you got to build great systems that are redundant, of course, but still somebody needs to be on call because it's not always your fault. Sometimes like some fiber optic line goes down or your hosting company screws up or hardware gets borked. Anything can happen. You know that. And being on call is really brutal because you get these constant alerts and PagerDuty aggregates all of those monitoring tools. You have all these different monitoring tools. It puts it all into one place and it pays for itself by keeping developers happy because it sends only the alerts that are necessary to only the people who are on duty and you can roll and you don't want to roll your own monitoring system like this. You want to use a professional system like PagerDuty. They've done all the work. It would take you literally years of development time to build this awesome system they've built, and consumers love the apps. They have iOS and Android apps, because a lot of your developers are going to be on Android, obviously. Um, and this lets them be on the go and receive alerts. And all the top pager duty clients um, are obvious. Atlassian with HipChat, Pinterest, New Relic, Airbnb, Panasonic, Slack, Path, all these great companies use pager duty because they want to keep their developers happy and make sure that their systems are up and running. In fact, Chartbeat, which is one of the companies I've invested in, uses um, PagerDuty, and PagerDuty gives Chartbeat one central place to send critical alerts. We now have a simple, easy process for on-call scheduling, says Justin Lintz, who is the senior operations engineer at Chartbeat. So here's your call to action, everybody. Go ahead and sign up for a 14-day trial at pagerduty.com slash twist, pagerduty.com slash twist. Get a free T-shirt when you sign up for your first alert. And thank you so much to our friends at PagerDuty because they built a great product that keeps developers engaged and loving their jobs. Thanks again at PagerDuty. Let's get back to this amazing episode. 